Welcome to this work special on the Commsar Art Prize North for 2003, its inaugural year. The prize, well, it's like a Turner Prize for the north of England. And the shortlisted artist, whose work you'll see very shortly, is outrageous, thought-provoking and downright excellent. We will, however, be asking the question which this prize asks, we have great artists in the north, do we have a great art market? As we've seen before on the works, England's northwest is blessed with fantastic galleries showing fantastic art, both traditional and modern. So much of the time we hear about art going on in London, but actually so many of the artists um, who are exhibiting in London are actually from the North and have trained in the North and studied in the North and gone back to the South. And much of the art originates in the North. We have great artistic institutions in the North like the Tate and the Manchester Art Gallery and the Lowry and hundreds of other ones. And so let's have a prize as well. Here I am in an art gallery and I'm looking for something. I'm looking for a pile of bricks on the floor. Why? Because that's where it all started. A pile of bricks on the floor of an art gallery in London back in the 60s. Absolute uproar, hysteria. Is it art? They screamed. Yes, it was art. And what's more, it was what you might call the shock of the new. For the last decade and more, the Turner Prize, based in London, has been using that shock of the new to make people think about modern art and talk about modern art. Why don't we do this for the north of England? That's exactly what the Comsar Arts Organisation thought with their galleries in Manchester and now New York. And so they set up this prize and they're holding the final evening's event in their gallery in Timber Wharf in Castlefield. The company made its reputation by taking art to places where art doesn't normally go. To bars, restaurants, shops and shop windows. The prize came about through all the work that we've been doing over the past 10 years. We wanted something that was a, was a celebration of, of what's happening in, in the North West and beyond. Um, and we decided that the, the way to do it would be to come up with a prize. I know inside of Amazon, native photos of me yesterday. Um, My second name's Turner and the press have picked up on it being the Turner Prize of the North that, that's a, a good avenue for us um, and, and also the gallery and everything and it's quite, it's quite comical really that it, it's been all, everybody that's asked the questions is is this the backlash against the, the, what the Turner Prize is all about and it isn't, it's, it's just an addition and I think it's something that, that's needed for the North as well. The region's art world responded positively when news of the prize was announced. Obviously it's putting itself up against the Turner Prize and other prizes that have been launched in the visual arts over the last couple of years. So it's an ambitious statement and a very good statement in terms of that um, unswavering belief in the, what's happening in the North is worth taking note of. I think art in the North needs a lot of things, uh, of which a prestigious prize might be one of them, it just might be. They're good fun usually, aren't they? And, and normally at the the basis of a, of a prize in any sort of um, area is to attract attention to that which the prize is given, or indeed to attract attention to those, the, those people giving, giving the, the prize, prize, it must be said. But no, I'm, I'm, I'm not against prizes, I think they're good, fun things by and large. Sometimes the judgment is taken to be awry, sometimes it's taken to be appropriate. By and large it pays attention to itself. So, would the prize benefit anyone other than those who promoted it? The people charged with looking after the well-being of the region clearly thought so, and the North West Development Agency quickly got behind the award. We've got behind an art prize because creative industries are a very important aspect of the region's economy now. There's around about 100,000 people working in our creative industries, and that grows every day. And they contribute about £1.7 billion pounds to the economy of the North West. It's a very, very good example of the knowledge-based economy actually working where you've got a relatively few number of people creating a large amount of wealth. And it's uh, an industry that the Northwest Development Agency is getting behind to help grow 